Hey everyone, Z here with AutoSys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to export and backup your data that you input into AutoSys. Now, uh, this feature is currently only available in the web portal, which can be accessed at autosys.com forward slash portal. Uh, just a reminder that AutoSys is cloud-based, so again, you can access your records uh, across any device as long as you have network or internet connection, and you can access them obviously anytime. To get started, to ex start exporting and backing up your data, you want to go ahead and click the icon kind of located toward the upper right corner called Export Backup Data. Once you select this, you'll have a pop-up, and it'll ask you whether you want to export the data for your current vehicle, uh, or you want to export for all vehicles in your garage. And then also, additionally, you have the option to just export data via Excel or export the data via Excel as well as any attachments such as images or PDFs that you have uh, with your records. Um, you can also email this data if you choose not to download it to anyone you please by selecting the email button and, and typing it in there. And then when you are ready to download, so for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to uh, export all my vehicles in my garage and I want all the Excel data as well as attachments. So once you select download, uh, that will uh, come down and, and come up in a zip folder for you. Uh, some advantages uh, of this feature, as you'll see, is one, you'll have all your data in a, in a nicely organized Excel file, so you'll be able to easily manipulate that data however you please. Also, all your images and attachments are backed up into a nice folder, so you'll be able to have those as well. So once it's downloaded, it's by default called AutoSys Records. You want to go ahead and click that, and then you'll see two files here. One's called Image, which is the image folder where all your attachments go, and then you also have a file called Vehicle Data. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click Vehicle Data, and you'll see that all your data for all your vehicles will be nicely organized uh, per these tabs. So you have the service, the fuel tracker, the reminders, the glove box, and the notes. Now these are all the, the major areas of AutoSys of where you can input data. So as you can see here, you see all that nicely organized. Now if you just, again, want to just see one of your vehicles, just go ahead and when on that pop-up, you want to go ahead and select just the specific vehicle that you're in, or you can, uh, like you see here, you see three different vehicles with all the data. One important note is under the image name tab here, uh, you'll see that there is an image name with the title, the date, and an image ID number. This is really useful because if you go back to the folder that I showed you that was labeled images, this will be uh, where this actually links up with the image name. So you'll be able to identify, okay, for this record, this was the actual uh, image that I had, uh, had attached. So for example, if I want to open one of these, I'll actually see the image that I had attached uh, for that specific record. So that's all uh, for this feature. Uh, if you have any feedback or tips or uh, you know ideas for future things, please feel free to email us at info, I-N-F-O, at autosys.com. We always love hearing from you. Uh, again, if you haven't written a review uh, or upgraded your account, please do so uh, when you do have a moment. It helps us out a ton, and obviously uh, we always appreciate your feedback. Thanks, everyone, for listening, and thanks for using Autosyst. We'll see you next video.